Hal, former Bucks kicker Martin Gramatica is the franchise all-time leading scorer. He played 11 years in the NFL with six different teams, but now Gramatica is the head coach of two youth soccer clubs. As the 360's Olivia Stacy explains, he's sharing lessons from his football days to help guide his soccer players through an unprecedented time. Keep it on the ground, keep it on the ground. Quick, Tyler, come on, buddy, come on, buddy, let's go. When Pasco County reopened their fields, no one was happier than former Bucks kicker Martin Gramatica. I'm more excited than they are, I think, just to be able to come out here, but they, they love it as well. Just play, just play all the way through. If he's not there, just play all the way through, Grant. Turn, support each other, get the ball back quick. Gramatica is the head coach of two soccer teams with Florida Premier FC. After three months away from the game, it was a long-awaited reunion. Oh, man, it was, it was entertaining, you know? Like, I've been on Martin Gramatica, my coach's team, for about five years now, so it's just coming back to see old friends. I was really happy to get back out there, see all like, my friends, and just have a fun time on the field. But safety is still the first priority. The coaches wear masks for every practice. Um, the kids, every kid, we get the temperature before practice and after practice. Our job is to let them know, look, it's still not over. We have to be cautious and we have to be proactive with it. Normally you're like, come together, bring it in, let's talk. Now it's like spread out. Which can be hard for players who are more like brothers. You take it for granted year after year. And I tell the boys all the time, you know, I learned that from Coach Dungy, you know, each team changes every year. So never take for granted your teammates and your time that you get to play together. And especially this year, now that message is loud and clear. Gramatica experienced a lot as a pro athlete, including a Super Bowl win with the Bucks. But a pandemic was something new. We, sports is when we forget about all the struggles at times, you know, you could be going through so many things and then you get to watch a game or play a game. I know for me as, a, as an athlete, it was an outlet. You know, it didn't matter what was going on in my life. As soon as I got to the practice field and I got to hang out with my friends in the locker room, you forget about all that. With sports on hold, he guided his players to make the most of their time off. He said, do your push-up sit-ups, you know, train, do workouts on your own. Uh, get a few touches on the ball, you know, perseverance, we're going to make it through it, and it, we did. Like telling me that we're going to get through this, this is going to be over soon. His biggest message is one he hopes resonates beyond the pandemic. Never take a practice for granted, never take a game for granted, never because you just never know. Those words of advice are ones his teams are taking to heart. It's, he's, he's everything. He holds this team together. I mean, I know some of these people who are out here without Martin, we would, we would not be here. We follow him, you know, our loyalty lies with Martin. Hello, Stacy joins us now, Liv. How has the coronavirus affected the season for Martin and his team? Well, their season was basically cut in half. Now, normally this would be time that they use to rest and recuperate from a long season, a month, a month and a half off in the summer. But of course, this year, that is not happening. They are so excited to be back on the field and they are going to take full advantage of this time to train and get ready for the new season. Martine was telling me because Pasco County was the first of our local counties to open up their youth fields, he's hoping this extra time of practice will give his teams a leg up on the competition. Yeah, Liv, it doesn't matter the sport. The knowledge that he's passing down to his kids is so very valuable. Great story. Thanks.